Well, in this tango training, we are going to do functional training. So we are going to work out all the muscles that are the most important to do the, the, the tango dancing. For example, the core muscles, gluteus, as well in our back muscles to have the posture. Because as I told in the previous video, we have shortened the pecs. So we are going to try to strengthen our back muscles. So this posture for us will be normal, not like one thing we are doing only when we are dancing, because maybe in our daily life we are like this. If we are working in the computer or, in a, or a desk, we are like this all the time. Or when we are reading with the phone, we are even like this all the time. So we are going to try to strengthen our muscles. So we are going to achieve this posture as natural. Okay, we are going to start with some short abs. Make sure that you have 30 degrees. So we are going to do for 30 seconds short abs. You can do in the speed you feel more comfortable. You can do in this speed or just to speed up, trying to control the movement of your legs. Of course, they are going to be moved even so, but try to control. Okay, after 30 seconds, we rest. Remember that always when we work with the body, we should have some water near us, drink a lot of water. The blood is composed by water, so we'll flow much better if we are really good hydrated. Now we are going to do an exercise that is called kick to the sky in Spanish, so it's pata del cielo. And we are going to do as well, 30 seconds, trying to use our gluteo, that is the main muscle when we are moving, like when we are uh, walking, sorry, or running. So we are pushing with our gluteo. And as well, believe me or not, this is the key for the Latin girls and the football players. Then after 30 seconds, we rest. Again, if you feel that you need to drink some water, drink some water, sit, just relax. You can use any device to control the 30 seconds. It's up to you. Now we are going to do with this rubber to train our back muscles. We can do with both arms at the same time or with only one and change. But here we're going to do some remo, it's called in Spanish. We are not training the pecs in this session because people in general are having shortened pegs that it's not helping with our posture. Now again, 30 seconds of pause, control your breath, see that if you need to do faster or slower, it's up to you. Now, in this, we are going to do, in Spanish it's called twist sovietico, so Soviet twist, to train our lateral abs and we are going to do from one side to the other, trying to have 90 degrees between our torso and our legs, as well between our legs and the floor should be 45 degrees and the back and the floor 45 degrees. So we go from one side to the other. This is helping a lot when we are trying to dissociate. Then 30 seconds of pause. Now we are going to stand. Okay. Remember, it's a whole body training session. So we are going to do some squats. You can do only one leg, but we are going to show one with both legs separate and doing a lapis in the middle but you as well can skip the lapis or do it. So for 30 seconds, you can go more down. And of course, the balance 
might be tough at the beginning. We can do to the front, to the back. Then after 30 seconds, we are going to rest and then change the leg. As well, you can challenge yourself trying to do a voleo. Now 30 seconds of rest and we are going to do with the other leg. Resting and training is really important, both things. So we rest and we train. In this resting, we recover. We can use to drink water. If, you are, if you are, we are trying hard, we are going to be a bit tired. So we might need this rest. Of course, sometimes we are spectating. Don't take the phone, think. Now, with the other leg. Try to be conscient, conscious about your posture. If you need to adjust a bit your head, you can make use of mirrors or as well to ask someone to record you meanwhile you train. So now we rest, we go to the floor again. These 30 seconds, I have to change the, the place. You can organize the training in the way you like, but in general, it's better not to do the same muscles all the time. Now we're going to train our back muscles. So with the hands like this, our thumb up, we are going to lift the arms. In Uruguay, my players call this little plane. Okay. Our arms should be like in a cross with our body and focusing only in our back muscles to lift the arms. And you can drink some water. And the last exercise, <coughs> we are going to open, try to be as open as we can, and we are going to do some squats, but training our abdu abductors. So, as well, in this it's important to keep your posture. You are going to feel that you are stretching even more. Guys, that we are shortened in general, we are going down and up. So, for 30 seconds. So, that's it. If you want to do a whole training session, you should repeat this three times or four times. As well, you can add more seconds or do it faster, so we'll be tougher for you or reduce as well the pause, the pause. It's up to you as up to your training and you can adjust.